Ladies and gentlemen, this is your man in Japan, Jay Contra, and I'm at the hard off outside of Fujisawa, about an hour south of Tokyo. And I wasn't really expecting much when I came here. I certainly wasn't expecting a $1,100 Mark of the Wolves Neo Geo game. But this is actually a very impressive hard off. It's got a lot of stuff. And I don't know how we're going to pack in all the non-junk stuff in half an hour, but my god, we're going to try. We're going to start up here with a showcase. And if you want to make it worth your while coming out to the boonies, I mean, Mother 3, that's like a $60 game in Tokyo. Here it's 35 Mother 1 plus 2 is also 60 bucks, so save 12 bucks. A couple copies of... GoldenEye, you even have Order of Ecclesia, you don't see that very often. And it's about $90. What else do we have? A bunch of Mega Man, well, one Mega Man game. Bucky O'Hare for 60 I don't think so. You know, so some of the prices are good, some of them aren't. That's just how it, go that's just how it goes. No one store is going to have the best prices on everything. So we got Metroid on disk system for 25. Castlevania 2, 40 bucks. Persona 2? Oh, it's what? Oh, first edition Persona 2. Apparently that's worth something. Apparently that's worth 80 bucks. Why? I do not know. Got Moon for 70, that's not bad. They have a lot of stuff here, I'm actually very surprised. Because sometimes the Tokyo Hard Offs, sometimes they're small, but this one, ooh. Like Circle of the Moon? Well, that's Akihabara prices, so that's not, not a great deal. Let's see, maybe you can see some of these Super Famicom games. A killer seven for sixty bucks. Factories are two for forty. Hmm. Okay, more games. Wow. Got one PC Engine Loose Core Graphics for eighty. That's I'd like it if it was seventy. Oh, and then they got the uh, skeleton. Sega Saturn, the purple one. Controller in the box for 50. Yeah, for some reason that's gone up in price. I remember when it was 20 many years ago. The Color Pocket Pikachu for 25 bucks. No box though. Bunch of gaming watches. Okay, let's go to the consoles. Oh wow, oh, I didn't see this. Bunch of controllers. Really cheap. Oh, I think I'm looking for this. I need a. I need a good PS2. This is the PS1 controller that came with the console. Eight dollars is not terrible. It's not bad. Although I think my PS1 is actually broken. It has a hard time reading some games. Bunch of cords. I got oh Yoshi controller for twenty bucks. The red, I need, I want, we, I want red Wii stuff. 20 bucks? Eh. I guess that's alright. So let's see, okay, let's compare Tokyo prices. Oh man, I wish I could remember how much these were a trader. But 50 bucks for a Famicom is pretty good. Not bad, how much? For one in the box. Let's see, 50 bucks. Not bad. I don't think it has the manual though. Yeah, no manual. That's why it could be more expensive. Let's put you back properly. And 60 bucks is not bad. 80 bucks is high. And 80 bucks for a Super Famicom Mini. 
a bit high. What else have we got? Oh, you don't see this very often. Black GameCube. 40 bucks. GameCubes just have not gone up in price. At least the base ones haven't. The special edition ones have. There's all your clone systems down there. And here's like a wild... What does this come with? Here's like a Super Famicom case. Oh, with Super Mario World? Let's see. Controller games... Uh, it doesn't tell you what the other games are. Oh, and then here's a complete N64. Wait, no manual. Again. <laughs> I love this front box though. Love the box art for the N64. It would age out very quickly. That's going for 50. Which are these Wii's? Oh wow, yep. Can't give the Wii's away. 30 bucks. Complete. And I think they're gonna stay like this for five years and then they'll start going up in price, just like the Famicom. I think did the Wii sell more than the Famicom? N64, 70 bucks? Hmm. Actually, I'm not really good on what N64s should cost this these days. But actually... The, let's see the memory pack inside. That's for like 20 bucks. We use how much are we use going for ninety dollars? That could be worse. Could definitely be worse. But then, are you freaking kidding me? No way. Sega Saturn should not be eighty dollars. Not even with two controllers. Seventy bucks is too much. I mean, maybe in to even in Tokyo, like most, I would pay for a complete inbox Sega Saturns like seventy. And they've got Model One Mega Drive for. Ten Hundred bucks. We even have a, a Sega Saturn Model One. It's Eighty dollars. No way. No way. Finest on junk for twenty bucks. again, there was a time you could not give these away. And now it's $100. I mean, are there any good 3DO exclusive games? Not that I'm aware of. DualShock PS2. This is a 9,000 model, 40 bucks. Did I miss anything? No, nothing exceedingly rare. Do have a really beat up AV Famicom for $80. That's a bit steep. Okay, so we looked at, oh yeah, portables. portables. Now this is interesting because let's see, that's actually really for Game Boy Advance SPs, 40 bucks is not bad. Although these don't have the adapters, but the adapter's like five dollars. You can find it in the junk bin real easy. Good condition blue one for 70. And then, oh wow, special editions. There's a Pokemon Game Boy Advance SP with, with uh, Venusaur on it for 100 bucks. Is that Naruto? I think it's a Naruto Game Boy Advance. Maybe. Someone will correct me, I'm sure. And some good cheap Game Boy colors, all the 40 bucks. Wish they were 20. Oh, and then there's the Final Fantasy II Wonder Swan Color in the back. That's like 80 bucks. Hmm. Okay, let's go around. Let's go to the games. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Here's the controller graveyard. Things, PS3 fight stick, 25 bucks. 
Donkey Kongas, fifty or five dollars. And actually, you know, let's see, how would you come out here? Um, so first, I would only come out here if I was visiting Kamakuta, which is nearby. It's, um, let's say, about 20 minutes by train from here, but it's got great beaches, really cool temples. Go to Kamakuta first, and then come here. Oh, Age of Empires, I spent so much time playing this game. Oh, it's got both Conquerors and Age of Kings, 40 bucks. Is this the Windows version? Yeah, it must be. I think, this, I think this came out for Mac. That's awesome, $40. And then, oh, I've been looking for Japanese Warcraft 3. I wish it was in a better box. Even 15 bucks. This box is too beat up. I also spent a lot of time playing Warcraft 3. can't believe they have those. And if you really want to play Half-Life 2 in Japanese, $50. It's amazing to me how expensive Japanese PC games have remained. Oh, they even have standalone Age of Empires 2. $20. See, would they have any shooters? Once again, I will I will drag everyone who's watching through my usual Shooter search. I don't oh Death Smiles, 12 bucks. That's not bad. But I was hoping if they had like sometimes it's hard to tell. What is this? Blaz blue? Blaze blue? <laughs> A bure, bure blue. Hold on, what's this shiny thing over here? Oh, Crazy Taxi 3, high roller. Oh that's not cool. I've only ever played the first one. I only noticed it because of the very twinkly color. I think I'm looking for like a Phantom Breaker. There's. Sometimes you can tell Cable sometimes put its logo on the edge. On the spine of the game. So I don't see any. So I won't, I won't subject you anymore to it. But they've got so much stuff here. I can't believe it. Let's excuse the, uh, the fan. So here we go. Um, I think it's very unfortunate that they've put this right in front of the window where all these games can be baked by the sun. So here we go. We've got the Super Famicom games here. Let's check out the portable games. Think, look at this. Oh my god. You can just tell. All of these are getting baked by the sun. Look at how faded these labels are. Like, this must have just been put out because it's not been baked yet, but this has been baked, this has been baked, this has been baked. That's really bad. Oh my god, and the problem is, is that these stores, they just put them out there, and they don't pay attention to these games, and then what happens? You've got a $10 copy of Ocarina of Time that no one is going to buy. Because look at how it's in... Back is fine. Yeah, okay. It's wrinkly. It's wavy. The front is absolutely unacceptable. Look here. Here's... This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what happens when you leave games next to the window in direct sunlight. I keep yelling about this and I'll never stop because it is probably the biggest reason why there are so many unsellable Japanese games. Okay, we'll get, yeah, we'll go with you in a minute. We'll get to the Saturn games in a minute. First, I want to look at the Game Boy Advance games. Famicom, sometimes they get locked in. Oh, hold on, how much is Fire Red? I'm looking for a copy of Fire Red. Ooh, 20 bucks. Ooh, ooh, I might have to pick this up because I saw it at Trader. Trader had a good copy for 35, but 20 bucks. Damn, if that isn't tempting. Because it's in fair shape. Wish it was better, but... Shit. Oh, oh, excuse me. I just dropped... What did I just drop? Hamtaro. Sorry, Hamtaro. I'm going to put you back. 
piece that I got. Oh, a couple copies of silver. Ten bucks, sixteen bucks. Hold on, what's it? A day and a, yeah, I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that. Yeah. Okay. How much is gold? Oh wow, they, so, okay, so what they did was they replaced the backup battery, and that's why it's $20, because the backup battery for these, you get the proper one with tabs, is like $10. So oftentimes you'll find Pokemon games for like $5, $10, but they won't have the safe battery replaced. Let's see a couple Robot Wars games. So I don't get why they had the Game Boy Adva Mario Golf Game Boy Advance Tour. Where's Mario? I don't see him. Where's Bowser? None of, Mario's not even in this game. I don't understand. Mm. Game Boy Advance is where it's the heat now. This is These are the games that are exploding in value. Or at least the rare ones. The common ones, not so much. Is that Prince of Tennis? It is. A Genius Boys Academy. $5. Advanced GTA. Wait, is what? Adobansu uh, GTA. Oh, I thought it was Grand Theft Auto. Never mind. <laughs> it's not as exciting anymore. Romance of the Three Kingdoms. How does that look? It looks okay. Oh, Ruby! Man, I have a hell of a time finding Ruby around where I live. Then I come to Tokyo, it's all over the freaking place. 20 bucks? Mm, if it was 15. If it was 15. These Game Boy games actually look like they're in good shape. I feel like these should be worse. Kind of see, no, they're not getting hit by the sun. The other games are. 20 bucks for Leaf Green. Now it's just Tenshio Kurao. 20 bucks? It's not the action. I was hoping for action. What else do we have here? Got anime games. Hyokori Hyotan Shima. Don Gabacho Daikatsuyaku no Maki. I don't know what the hell this is. Just couldn't tell you. Sorry. Okay, put it back as I left it. Come on. Come on. Oh, and if you want some, uh, if you want a couple of Game Boy cases, three dollars. Oh, a couple of Neo Geo Pocket games. We got a slot machine game, five dollars, and then uh, another patch of slot game, five dollars. Pokemon Pinball. Hmm. Ooh, Solar Striker. Highly recommend this. A shooter for the Game Boy. Had a lot of fun playing it. I'm gonna loose Mother 1 and 2. Going for uh, 30 bucks. Even loose. Very expensive game. And then, yeah, Fusion. Once again, Fusion surprised me. $30 for Fusion. I really hope I have this. I don't want to spend $60 on Metroid Fusion. Getting it in the box. Let's see. What's up in the world of Famicom? Mother for 20 Then, wow. <laughs> really looks like someone left this in their, uh, in their system for a while. Let me see if I... This is where the line would be, I think. I think. They're both still $20. That's insane. I can't believe they didn't knock a few bucks off of that for the condition. Hmm. What is going on here? I thought... I don't, I don't, I don't know if I like this. Kyon Shizu 2. That looks really scary. 
if I'm being honest. Oh, here we go. Super Famicom games. Why not? Let's do it. Go Mega Man X3. 20 bucks. Not bad. 12 bucks for Mega Man 7. Let's see. Okay, they've got them organized by name. Although, so what they've got is over here, they've got everything organized by name. But then if we come over here, up at the very, at the tippy top, they've got all the Mario games. And they've got, oh, then they organize everything by name. I thought they would have, you know, the greatest hits here. But uh, actually, well, sort of. Got a Contra 3, 20 bucks. Strike Gunner. Why is this thirty dollars? Well, it's like twenty-five. Really? What is it, man? The yen's the yen's getting pretty strong. It's almost a one hundred five yen to the dollar today. What else have we got? F one Grand Prix. RPG Tsukudu. It's like RPG Maker. Eru Faria Two. Don't know what that is. Hudson game. Let's go down to the boxes. The boxes, frankly, are much more exciting. We've got Populous, Kid Clown, and Crazy Chase. Uh, really bad typeset there. <laughs> Super. Don't know. <laughs> Super Kaba. Excuse me. $3. Super Mahjong Daikai. Daikai, excuse me. Oh my god, dude, look. Look. What is that? And see here? This is where the shelf is. This is where the sun hits it. $8 for this. No one... Because of how particular Japanese collectors are, nobody is going to be buying these games. Maybe foreigners will buy these games. $19. Damaged case. No manual. Oh wow, and see a pop poppin' twin B, 20 bucks. It's a game I want to get poppin' twin B eventually. Not here though. Gonna randomly pull games parlor, three bucks. Another copy populous used to be seventy bucks way back in the day. Now it's ten. Water do Saka. Zan three. Zan Spirits three. This is interesting. A little strategy game. Warring states. Fever. Saikyo no Quizu o Kete. It's like a quiz show. Hmm. Oh, some interesting games up here. Let's pull them. Let's pull them. Ah, oh, Fellow World. Yaiba. And Donkey Kong, Super Donkey Kong, eight dollars. That's actually not a bad price. If it was in better condition, that would be worth picking up. Ooh, and then we get some heavy hitters. We've got Seiken Densetsu Three, bad condition. A no manual Rockman X Two, twenty dollars though. I mean, the manual can't be that expensive. And then Tetris Two and Bombless, eight dollars. What's this? Jinsei Gekijo. Used to be $40. Now it's eight. And here's like, oh, a tank strategy game. I just can't, I don't know how to uh, read those kanji. <laughs> yeah, how much is this? $10? Let's 
Must have just come in. It's not been bleached yet. That's good. That's good, though. Okay. Can't really see any good Famicom boxes, although this 12 bucks for Super Mario 3, this is really good. I mean, in Tokyo, you'd spend, what, 30 bucks for this? Yeah. Okay, let's head over to... Alright, so something that hard-offs tend to lack are the kind of later stuff. They've always got a big selection of Super Nintendo, Nintendo, and Famicom stuff. It's the Saturn and the Dreamcast that they tend to be lacking. So let's just pull some and see what they have. Soul Calibur, classic. Biohazard 2, value plus, five bucks. NBA 2K, spine cover, three dollars. The golf game. Gorufu Shioyo, three dollars. Gundam Battle Online. Haven't heard of that. Three bucks though. Coldacept for two for three dollars. Oh, and King of Fighters 2000. Don't often see this. Is twenty bucks a good price? I don't know because I don't. I don't really know much about King of Fighters. So. Let's see, what, what are the marquee games? Um, Pop the Music 2. I don't know why a Sega Saturn game is here. Romance of the Three Kingdoms 6 with Power Upgrade Kit. $16. Godzilla Generations Maximum Impact. Ooh, that looks like it could be fun. Yeah, there's Mathra. That's $20. Oh yeah, you know what I'm looking? I'm looking for uh, Capcom vs. SNK 2. I've been listening to the soundtrack for that recently. It's got a hell of a soundtrack. And it's like Mahjong with Street Fighter characters? Okay. <laughs> Alright, wait, how much is it? Ten bucks. Don't see that very often. Oh, here's some 3DO games. We don't really ever talk about the 3DO, do we? Hold on. What do they got? What do we got? We've got Stellar Draxon's Revenge. That looks cool. That could be cool. Total Eclipse. Also cool. Crystal Dynamics. Shoot. Shoot. Yeah, I might as well pick that up someday. Return Fire. Yeah, and then uh, whatever this is. Yamamudi. Yamamuda. Uh, Misa? Me, I don't know. Suspense. Wow. The murder mystery. We got three more. What are they gonna be? t and &E VR, VR Golf, ladies and gentlemen. Winning post. Oh, Street Fighter 2. Grand Master Challenge. $8. Oh, we even have some interesting, some boxed Sega, I want to say, what would these be, like SG-1000? Yeah, SG-3000, 1000 games. Pop Framer, 20 bucks. Flicky, Furiki, 20 bucks. Zippy Race, no manuals, that's unfortunate, that sucks, I wish they had the manual. Again, twenty dollars. Eight dollars for Monaco GP. GP World. Eight dollars. Monaco GP with a manual. So there you go. Manual sixteen. No manual eight. A lot of sports games. Soccer. Load Runner. Thirty bucks for Load Runner. No manual. Shoot. Well, you can still get a deal on Mario Party. Seven bucks. 
Would they have a copy of Knife Edge Nose Gunner? That's what I'm looking for. Let's see. Would it even be in good condition? Probably not. Probably not. They got a lot of stuff here, though. So I think I'm going to call it here. We're going to move over to the junk section. And I'm going to think about buying Pokemon Fire Red. Hope you'll join me in the next video. I've been your man in Japan, Jay Contra. On the main floor of the Hard Off in Fujisawa, outside of Tokyo. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And mahalo.